Hello everyone and welcome again to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do the aggregate interface configuration in FortiGate Fiber. So what is aggregate interface? Aggregate interface is like the name itself says it. It's like aggregating multiple interface over it. So we are having two protocols in aggregation. Uh, like if I talk in terms of Cisco. Okay, aggregate is like either channel only. We are having PAGP and LSP. But PAGP is a Cisco proprietary protocol. So we cannot use, use it over here and we can use LACP. Okay. So what I've done, I've done the configuration on this switch end. I will show you. Uh, I will show you the configuration. Four channel. One. Okay. This is the configuration. Now I will show you the configuration on the uplink interfaces. This is the configuration, okay. Channel group one mode active, like which we are calling our port channel under this interfaces. First we are configuring the port channel, okay. And after that we are calling those port channel in this interfaces, okay. So that this interface will come under the port channel one, okay. Active and passive are the two modes in LSCP. Since LSCP is open standard, I'm using it over here so that our port channel will come uh, or between the switch and the 48 firewall so act, there are two modes active and passive so if you keep uh, active active on the both ends one on switch and one on the firewall the port the the port channel will come up but if you keep passive passive on both the ends the port channel will not come up and if you keep active on one end and passive on the other end it will come up okay now i will show you the uh, firewall configuration you have to go under an interface, create an interface. I will say aggregate. Uh, name will be also aggregate 802.3 AD. This is the IEEE standard. Okay. And if you, if you want to define the VRF ID, okay, you can define it over here. But we don't have such kind of configuration over here. Uh, so you know we it's not required now i will configure the interface which are coming the two and three now i want uh, ip over here similar 10.1.1 okay now i will configure the https ssh ping after that i will configure the dhcp server okay and i'll click on ok If you want to, if you are having multiple ether channels, then you can create that well as that as well. So, for example, if you want, I want to create an ether channel. Okay, I will keep name as one two three. Okay, now I will create an like uh, if you like if you want to create an port channel sub interface, then that is also possible. Okay, but for that you have to create a normal port channel. And under that port channel, you have to call that multi, the 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 other port channels. Okay, that video I will cover some other day. Okay, let's not now focus on that topic. Now I'll click yeah, cancel. Basically, what I was telling, like if you want to, if you are having a multiple ether channel, the multiple interfaces, and you want to create the multiple VLANs. Okay, and you want your FortiGate firewall to be an L3 device then you have to create a normal ether channel and after that in that ether channel you have to call that multiple ether channels i will create a next video for that now let's focus on our aggregate interface yeah if you go and switch the port, the port channel will be up Click on show the channel summary up uh, what i'll do i'll uh, click on firewall policies because this is a firewall unless and until it will not work i'll give his name as one uh, aggregate interface van 
if you want to see you can see over here water interface are coming under aggregate port 2 and 3 destination will be also all and i'll click on all over here now i'll click on okay this is fine now similarly the second one All. Here night is not required. Now we will do the testing. Oh, static route is there. Static route is still pending. Network static route. I know my static route, the gateway, so I'll know it. So I'll directly configure 192.168.0.1. And now we will do the testing from this PC, whether it's getting IP or not. IP or DHCP. It will get IP 100%. It will also able to ping the internet. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I have missed something. Let me check the gateway reachability. I'm able to reach the gateway. But how about the. Okay. I think there is some mistake in the firewall policies. Okay. Aggregate to LAN. Let's enable the netting over here as well. Now let me check if it's working or not. I think that is not an issue. Aggregate in place to okay. Okay, 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 okay. See, port for here we don't require netting. It was a silly mistake from my end. If you guys see, I have given the outgoing interface from the aggregate as port 4. Okay, but it's actually port 1. Port 1. Okay, now I'll click on OK. Now it will work. See, see this was another thing, but the whole the uh, idea of this video is we can create an ether channel over here okay by combining i think in uh, the lscp you can combine 16 interfaces okay and out of those 16 interfaces eight will be inactive and the remaining eight will be in the standby okay, this is how you can do the aggregate interface configuration in fortigate firewall i hope you guys would have liked this video stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you